Hi, this is Shay of Shay Design Studio, and today I'm here to show you a couple awesome features in the new 11th version of Femora. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing is once you open up Femora, you'll see that there are a couple new things that are there. The first thing is the instant mode option. Now the instant mode option, it provides you with a variety of different templates that you can use. If you kind of want to have something created, but you don't necessarily want to put in a lot of time to do it, then this would be a great option. Or there are different types of options. There is the business, cinematic, education, family, slideshow, upbeat, blog. And even when you see this, you can also select the see all option and you'll notice that a lot more of these templates will appear. Um, and then from there, what you can do is you can click on whichever you choose. I think I'm going to go ahead and choose this um, fashion modern slideshow. So I'll go ahead and click the use button. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna ask me to import some media. So I will go ahead and do that. Okay, so I went ahead and imported all my media. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and click this auto create button. So what it will do, it will load up and get the template ready. And as you can see. And you can also within this is when it has these different options here you can click on them and then you can change them yourself so I will go ahead and just say and the date leave that alone and then I can add my ad channel here Then if I'm ready to export it, then there is this option, but there's also other things you can do on this side layers panel. Um, you can change the color of the text, you can rotate it, you can scale it if you want. And then once you're done, you can go ahead and export it. And then from here you have your options that's what you can explore and another cool feature in the femora 11th version is the stock media option tab now when you click on that you'll notice that there are different options here so there are gifs and stickers from jiffy there are pixabay and on splash options as well now usually if you want to add a gif to show some type of uh, extended emotion or just a little extra something in your video then these would be the good options to use so the good thing is there is a database for GIFs and usually I, what I've noticed with some people's videos they like to, they like to insert a GIF in between uh, one clip to the next for kind of like a transition or a replacement for a, you know it's your stare your typical uh, transition so for this one this woman here is giving a thumbs up and then the next clip is a woman here and she's more so looking in the camera so I want to find some type of gif that will be a good transition from one into the next so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do maybe a happy gif so I'll go ahead and type that in here and then I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna go ahead and select this shift here and then you can just put import it there and then just put it in between the first clip and the second clip and then I'll go ahead and press this space bar the addition of adding GIFs to your video are also another cool feature in the Ephemora 11 edition Another nice thing regarding the stock media tab is that you can find high definition photos and videos using Pixabay and Unsplash. That's right, high definition videos and photos, Pixabay and Unsplash. So the good thing is you can go ahead and search the database and if you're looking for additional photos or videos to add to your video, then these would be the great places. These would be some of the best places to search for. So that's an awesome thing. They're free. And they're included in the software so you can't beat that right so anyway i just wanted to show you a couple of things but anyway i just wanted to show you a couple additional features within the stock media tab
Also check the links in my description for additional information on the new version of Femora and where you can access that. And I will see you next time for the next tutorial. Bye.